Tonight, one Georgia lawmaker pushing for a statewide ban on booting cars. Democratic Senator Josh McLaurin sponsored a bill in the Senate that would make the enforcement of booting illegal in the state. It's gotten bipartisan support. Fox 5's Joy Dukes is at the state capitol tonight with more. Yeah, bipartisan support in the state Senate and the support of many of Metro Atlanta's drivers who can say they've had to deal with the unpleasant experience. Well, they may never have to deal with it again if Senate Bill 247 passes in the state legislature. A new bill introduced in the Georgia State Senate is aiming to give the boot to companies booting cars across the state. The whole idea is that this is a practice that has been overused and abused, uh, and it's not something that is done fairly. Democratic Georgia State Senator Josh McClaw who sponsored Senate Bill 247 represents North Fulton County, where he says many booting services operate using questionable, sometimes predatory practices. They're putting boots on cars because it's so easy for them to do, knowing that the person might have paid or they might validly have their car there. Uh, but the idea is to force the driver to figure it out by paying money early, and then they're hoping that a lot of these drivers won't dispute the boots. He tells Fox 5, while in some cases the cause for booting a car is legitimate, he knows the frustration of that not being the case all too well. Figure it out. And in some cases, drivers are trapped for hours at a time. They might pay fines upwards of $75, hundreds of dollars. Um, and I've heard stories since dropping this bill of people who have been booted in their own parking lots, uh, in their own apartment complexes. SB 247 would make it illegal for booting services to attach the device to any car. The punishment, a fine of up to $1,000. In its current form, local governments would also not be allowed to boot cars as a means of parking enforcement. McLaurin believes ticketing is just as good of an option. We'll find an alternative that works for property owners, but in the meantime, booting's got to go. With support from state lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, he says it's now a race against the clock to try and get it passed. A crossover day is March 6th, and McLaren tells me that even if the booting bill doesn't pass during this year's legislative session, he believes with the amount of support that it's received, it'll be one of the first on the docket for next year's session. That's the latest here tonight at the Georgia State Capitol. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. Thank <laughs> you.